Now today I'm going to make some beef stock. Now this beef stock, I'm going to be using mine for a casserole that I'm going to make. Then I'm going to do a separate video for that. Now to make this beef stock, it's really very cheap. You can go down to butchers, buy your marrowbone, some vegetables, and you've got a really tasty beef stock at the end of it. And the thing is with this beef stock, you tend to cook a little bit more than you might need for cooking a stew, so you can keep it in the freezer when you need it next. And flavour wise, it really will add extra flavour to your casseroles and stews. So give this one a go. So for making this homemade beef stock, just gonna quickly go through the ingredients I'm gonna use. Now over here, I've got marrowbone. Now I've also got like a knuckle. So go down your butchers, ask for marrowbone ideally. This is the ones here. This is the bit of the knuckle, which has got a bit of the marrow in there. In terms of weight, mine weighs roughly about two kilograms. And what we're gonna be doing with the bones and the vegetables to add a little bit of flavor is roast them in the oven and then they're all gonna go in the pot. So I've got about two kilograms of marrowbone. Now, vegetable wise, again, not an exact quantity, just, you know, whatever you've got. I've got a couple of onions, a couple of carrots, parsnips. Now, if you're in the US, you might find it a little bit tricky to get parsnips, so you can even leave those out. A few, you know, pieces of celery. I've got some uh, fresh parsley. You can just use the stalks. It's only just to add a little bit of flavor. And also I've got three dried bay leaves a teaspoon of black peppercorns, a teaspoon of salt, got about a quarter or a third of a teaspoon of dried thyme, and then I've got some mace, a sort of blade of mace. Now mace is basically, it's the outside, if you like, of the kernel of nutmeg. So it's a really subtle flavor, and it's perfect for adding into stock, but you can also add it into sort of, you know, stews and casseroles. You can use it for baking, and it also adds a little bit of spice to your pumpkin pie. So get some mace if you can. You only need a little bit, and it's, you know, again, really cheap. All these ingredients are fairly cheap, and it's not gonna cost you hardly anything for making this stock. So there's all the ingredients. Now, what I'm gonna do is switch my oven on, get a baking tray, just roughly chop the you know, vegetables, add it in with the bones, and then again, I get those roasting. So just gonna place that in the oven. Now I've put no water, there's no oil or anything, just dry roasting this. Now, I've got my oven temperature set to 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 degrees Fahrenheit, gas mark six. Now I'm gonna be cooking mine for roughly about 45 minutes. What you should find is the bones got a little bit brown on the outside, and again, the, the vegetables look a little bit roasted. So keep them cooking as a rough estimate, 45 minutes. And then we pop them out and are ready to go in the pot. Now I've been roasting up the bones and the vegetables for just over 45 minutes. Got a wonderful color on there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those over to the hob. So I've come over to the hob. Now I've got me bones, got me vegetables. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything out, pop it in the pot, leave any oil behind. So don't use any of the oil, just take the bones and the veg, put it in the pot, along with the spices we've got here, just put the whole lot in the pot and then bring it to the boil. Now mine's just coming up to the boil. So just gonna give it a little bit of a mix, like that. And turn it down. And I'm gonna place a lid on mine but not completely cover it. So lift it up, put a little bit of a gap. I'm gonna keep that cooking, check it now and again. And as the water goes down, what you'll find is it'll probably bubble a little bit faster. So you might need to reduce the heat again, but I'll see you in about four hours once it's reduced down and it's looking delish. Now I've been simmering the stock for just coming out for four hours. So let's take the lid off there. Now, what I am gonna do, let's have a look. And you see inside, any of that left over, pull that out, like so. I mean, this looks absolutely like you could just tuck into that. It looks so good as it is. But uh, let's pull that out. I'm just gonna pop that onto a plate, separate. And let's have a look at, marabone here as well, pull that out. And what I would say is you wanna do that and get all that marrow out because that 
is going to richen it all up. So just make sure you've got it all the way through, the other end as well. And do that. I mean, obviously, if you've got just a marrow bone, you know, do it with whatever you've got. Get the flavour out of that bone because that is really going to make this stock taste good. That's it. Got that out. Pretty much most I can. And I'll do that if any leftovers, any bones I've got in there, carry on doing that. So now we're taking the marrow bone, marrow out of the marrow bone. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip all that through a sieve and, you know, see what juices we get. So let's do that next. I'm just going to pour that through very carefully. So I finished making the beef stock. Now I've got all the vegetables left, you know, through the sieve there. And obviously we're taking out the bones and look at the color on that. Beautiful. Now that is going to be a really nice basis for making the casserole or the stew. I'm going to be using this for making a beautiful casserole with oxtails. But obviously it's the sort of thing that once you've cooked it up, you can leave it in the freezer and you can use it another day, put it in jars, containers, whatever you like. I'm probably going to use most of that or all of it for making up this wonderful oxtail casserole that I'm going to make tomorrow. But absolutely beautiful, simple to do. And the good thing about making your own beef stock or stock, it's really cheap to do because you're just using, you know, marrow bone and using vegetables. So thanks for watching my videos. Go and make this because it's a good thing to learn. I'll see you on the next one. The original Naked Chef.